Okay, um, guys, I'm just doing a test charge on my new 4010 Duo. I got two uh, Dell 700 watt power supplies, and I currently have the charger set at 60 amps in synchronous mode. So I'm just going to see if the breaker in my house can hold those two power supplies. Everything else in my room is unplugged or turned off. That's why um, I'm kind of in the dark here. So um, let's go ahead and see if we can get this underway. I still don't know how to operate this charger, so bear with me. All right, I'm doing a charge. Ignore the capacity, but it's a 10 amp hour pack. It's gonna automatically do the cell count. It's set at 60 amp and it's set on slow balance. So, let's select charge. Alright, like I said, the voltage of the power supply is down there. It's going to slowly ramp up. And we'll see what happens. And you can tell how many amps it's drawing down here. I do have a power supply jumper for long fan speed. It'll just be interesting to see how many amps that these power supplies can actually put out. Um, there are 57 amp power supplies. The charge can take up to 60 or 65 amps. So we're already approaching the threshold of what the 36B would be pulling. Um, which will be 30 amp charge rate, so we're passing that. We're down to 34 amps. The voltage is dipping. <laughs> This should be like the threshold of where it should pop the breaker. It's pulling 57 amps. Still going. Wow. Wow. Power supply is actually putting 64 amps up. 65 amps. That is fucking awesome. Power supply is still cool. Charger's fan is ramping up in the back here. Can't believe the power supply is actually holding this many amps. Well, I'll take it this is defender proof that this charger is the shit. My power supplies are the shit. And um, it's charging the hell out of these packs. Breaker, I mean, uh, obviously everything is still on. These power supplies are fully loaded. So it should be pulling about 22 amps off of a 15 amp breaker. Over than 23 volts. I'm just tickle pink about this. So the charger isn't completely maxed out, but 
Let's see. It says we're doing about 1400 watts, which will be the exact spec of the power supply. Still charging. There's a third of the way down with my pack. Just grab down here and feel the power cores. Power cores are not even lukewarm. So. They're holding 65 amps. Just filling on the cables. Now there seems to be, of course, there seem to be some losses in the cable. Right now, the parallel cable on the charger is a uh, 12 gauge parallel to a 10 gauge that's going to the packs with four millimeter bullets. Um, cables are warm to the touch. Same thing with the uh, power supply cables, they are a little bit warm. Power supplies are, they're not even, there is no hot spots that I can really feel. You can tell them they're slightly above ambient, but they're not hot. Exhaust is kind of kind of warm. I remember this is jumper for low fan speed, so this is really stressing it out a lot. We're halfway done charging the pack. So, we're so far so good. 57 amp power supplies pulling, putting out 65 amps to this charger. And the voltage dipped down to 23, 23 volts, so it's almost a one volt drop, but I'm thinking some of it's the losses in the cable and connectors. So I'm thinking I'm doing my own determin uh, determination that, uh, that this is probably the safest max that you can do. Like I said, I don't have anything else powered in this room. So, and like I said, these power spots are plugged directly into the, to the outlet down there. So, like I said, so I'm assuming nothing else is on the circuit in this room. The power strips are off on my computer. There's my uh, messy workstation. The lights are off. My computer's off. It's just this, uh, just the power supplies and the eye charger and the breaker is still on. There's a 15 amp breaker. These units are supposed to be pulling 11 amps fully loaded. So, we're definitely over the rating of the breaker. And so here we are about two thirds of the way through the charge. Oh, by the way, the packs are Turning G 2030C 5 amp hour packs. Seem to be taking it like a champ. 
pack is slightly warm. Of course, you can see the balance of the sails right there. So the pack is pretty pretty well balanced. And uh, currently in synchronous mode, this uh, this charger has a 2.1 amp balance current, so it should be able to balance uh, the most unbalanced pack compared to the other other charger like the 36B and the 3010B, which only have about 500 milliamps of balance current. In synchronous mode, this one has nearly four times the amount of current, so. It should be able to pull any pack that you have back in the balance quite well. Alright, we see the amps currently dropping as it's uh, ramping, uh, ramping down the current as the voltage uh, approaches uh, the termination voltage. Amps are dropping down. And so like, and we're about 11 minutes into this video, so after about the first minute and a half of bullshitting, we're, we're approximately probably like 10 minutes of actual charge time. So I charged 10 amp hours and about, I'm going to say about 12 to 13 minutes. So that's pretty, pretty righteous. Just filling the exhaust of the power supply, as you can tell, they'll definitely load it down. The casing is still quite, quite cool. But the exhaust is definitely warm back here. Again, they're in low, low fan speed. If I unplug the jumper, it'll, it'll go to high, high, high mode. So I'm thinking the um, the little things down here means that it's currently bouncing, that it's trying to pull those cells down to allow the other cells to catch up. That's what I'm assuming. So. It still has a whole amp hour to go, so. Well, I'm not going to torture you guys any further. I'm going to just go ahead and uh, end this. But basically, two of my power supplies power the charger to about 1,400 watts. And it started to charge off at about 60 amps. So, um, that's, I mean, like I said, that's pretty respectable that the breaker didn't trip. So, I would say this is the most that you want to put on a single household circuit and not have it trip the breaker and you still be able to enjoy this charger. Uh, let's say the eye chargers, the, the 36B is of course charge at 30 amps. This is charging at nearly double. Um, and this is, I mean, I'm, I'm ecstatic over this charger that I can render this configuration at my house. If of course, if I add a third unit, it can fully power this charger to the full potential, but um, but I'm just um, I'm just excited that I'm able to get these two because this is this is most that you all you ever need. I mean, this is a lot of charging power. Um, I don't know why they made a charger this powerful when you can't really power it correctly without using like a dryer plug or having to use multiple circuits in your house to power the charger. 
Um, but definitely this setup that I have here works out great. And like I said, it's only been 15 minutes so far. I don't know what the long-term implications are of running 60, well, running these power supplies at 65 amps and, um, and running a 15 amp breaker in your house at 22 amps. So, but I'm just saying it works in my case. So, thanks for watching.